Hi guys, this is Jane Scanlon um, of Cherish Transform and Upgrade. Um, we're doing an EFT series, or I am doing an EFT series, Emotional Freedom Technique. Um, we're covering subjects like judgment, comparison, self-love, um, perfectionists, perfection paralysis um things like that that really dull down our self-love because we're comparing we're judging um and the energy with comparison judgment trying to be perfect um is very sticky it's it doesn't feel good it doesn't flow um so what I am here to help you try and achieve is to clear these using this simple technique, emotional freedom technique. Um, hopefully you've watched the intro video and also how to do the EFT tree. So today we are going to be doing comparison and that is what we're going to be working on. So I invite you to follow my words. You can do your own EFT tree and do your own words, but do this one set of EFT with me using these words. These words have um, been channeled through me um, from the divine, from memories of what clients have said to me and from my own personal experience. So, um, this will help to heal you, to clear you. Um, so let's work together and please try to tap in on the meridian point. If I'm tapping here and you're tapping up there, you know, it's um it's still it will still work, it just won't be as potent. Yeah. So if you want the best results, follow the words and tap on the points okay so i'll just go through them again inner eyebrow outer eyebrow kind of by the side of the eye under the nose on the chin where the kind of groove is under the round of the collarbone you can see it when i do that on the bra line under the armpit top of the head and sometimes i will tap in the chest here which is like the heart chakra. Okay, so let us go. This is the karate chop point, by the way. Oh, and we need to um, mark this out of 10. It's like the energy scale of feeling really bad, which is 10, or feeling, oh, this doesn't actually bother me at all, not connected to me at all anymore. Yay, which is zero. So, how do you feel about comparison? We've, um, in my membership area, we've had a lot of discussions about judgments and um, comparison. So, um, I know that there is a good feeling sometimes when you're comparing yourself to someone else and you're doing better. Um, and there's also a bad feeling when you compare yourself to someone else or something else and actually you're doing worse. And that not good enough feeling bubbles up. Why me? I feel stuck. You might rush jobs through to try and kind of get the better of the other person. Um, you might not get anything done at all because you've compared and compared you, you're in that comparison phase so badly that you just think you're going to lose anyway you're not going to be good enough anyway so what's the point in trying so this can show up money lifestyle diet parents businesses careers companies comparison within yourself and your body so all of these areas you can compare it um, so, on a scale of 10, 10 being the worst, 0, 1 being, eh, doesn't bother me, I don't compare. How do you feel? Okay, I'm getting a resounding 10. So, 
so I'm going to put 10 down. If your number differs, just write your number down. So this, when I close my eyes and I breathe, I am... I am listening to what is coming through to me. Um, some people call it channeling, um, listening to the divine, listening to the vibrations. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm doing. So I've got a 10 for the amount of people that are going to be watching this video. Um, the level is 10. So let's go. And you write down your number if that differs, all right? Doesn't matter. There is no comparison. There's no judgment here. Let's put, let's start tapping. Even though I am stuck in comparison, I still love and accept myself. Even though I constantly compare, I still love and accept myself. Even though I constantly compare, myself and my things to other people and other things. I love and accept myself. Why do I always compare myself to others? It doesn't make me feel good when I'm worse off. But I do feel good when I'm better than them. I don't feel good enough. I compare myself to others because I don't feel good enough. I compare my parenting skills or that of my own parents to other people's parents. I compare my business to other people's businesses. Sometimes I feel great about it because I'm doing better. Other times I feel worse because they're doing better. I compare my career to other people. Am I doing good enough? Should I do better? I compare the company I work for or want to work for with every other company on the market. I compare myself to you and to other people. Sometimes it feels good. Sometimes it feels bad. I am not good enough. I'm not good enough. I feel stuck in this comparison. I feel stuck in this comparison. It doesn't feel good. I don't feel good. It's draining my energy, this comparison. I love and accept myself. I really want to love and accept myself, but I'm not good enough. That's why I compare myself to others. That's why I judge others. I love and accept myself. I love and accept myself. I love and accept myself. Okay, let's take a nice deep breath. Now I have to say the energy that was in that was so different to some of the other um, sessions that I've done with EFT. I honestly I felt the sadness of the comparison, the sadness of not feeling good enough. So let's rate that on a scale of one to 10, or zero to 10, okay?
It's only a nine at the moment for me. If things have changed for you, but I am hearing nine, 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 nine. So that's what I put down. And if you're hearing something else, then that's what you put down, okay? All right. Even though I am not good enough and I compare myself to others, I still love and accept myself. Even though I am not good enough, and I compare myself to others. I still love and accept myself. Even though I am not good enough and I compare myself to others, I still love and accept myself. I don't feel good. I have this heaviness, this tightness in my chest and my throat this comparison doesn't feel good. I don't feel good enough. Why don't I feel good enough? I feel sad. I feel low. I'm never going to be good enough. I feel like the energy is being sucked out of me. I don't feel good enough. My lifestyle could be better. I never got enough money. My career, my business. I could be doing better. I should be doing better. Other people are. My body isn't good enough. Theirs is better. I should eat like them. I should have that diet. I don't feel good enough. <sighs> this is just zapping the life out of me. I feel stuck. I don't know. I feel stuck. I compare myself to others all the time. Now I think about it, I really do compare myself to others. This comparison doesn't feel good. But when I'm right, it feels good. I compare a lot. I love and accept myself. Do I love and accept myself? Hmm. I compare myself to others. This is a low energy. This is a low frequency. I compare myself to others. I am not good enough. I am not good enough. I love and accept myself. I love and accept myself. I love and accept myself. Okay, take a deep breath. I tell you what, this one is way, way deeper than I thought. I thought the judgment one was going to be a lot deeper, but this one, it's like it sunk me down into a different level. And what I'm hearing is you've got to delve deeper. Where does this come from? I'm not good enough. Yeah. Okay, so it's coming through as an eight, so it's moving a lot slower than some of the other videos where we've done. And um, so we're gonna do it again. We're gonna do another round. So this is our third round. We may need to do a fourth, um, because we really do want to try and get it down to one or zero okay so let's see where this takes us okay um 
Even though I compare myself to others, I still love and accept myself. Even though I compare myself to others, I still love and accept myself. Even though I compare myself to others, I love and accept myself. I compare myself to others like all the time. I compare my things, my house, or, or my abode, my flat, whether I rent, whether I do a mortgage, whether it's mine, whether it's my parents. I compare, I compare. I compare my lifestyle. Mine's better or mine's worse. Neither feels that good. I'm not good enough. I feel not good enough when I compare. It's a low energy. It doesn't feel good. It feels tight in my chest. My throat. It feels like I need to cry. I feel sad. I don't like comparing myself to others. It feels good to be right though. I'm not good enough. I'm not good enough. I'm not good enough. I'm not good enough. I don't feel good. I feel sad. I feel sad when I compare myself to others because I'm judging them and I'm judging me. It doesn't feel good. I compare my money, I compare status, I compare class, I compare businesses, I compare my body, I compare my relationship, I compare my parents, I compare my own parenting skills, I compare, I compare, I compare. Comparison is not good. It doesn't feel good unless I'm right. I love and accept myself. I love and accept myself. I love and accept myself. Okay. Four. Came straight like out of the blue to me. So take a nice deep breath and see what number you are at. Four is coming through to me from the divine. Okay. Drop that down. We're going to go again. Um, we're just going to go again. So even though... I compare myself to others. It doesn't make me feel good. All the time. I love and accept myself. Even though I compare myself and things to other people and other things, I love and accept myself. Even though I compare, I love and accept myself. I compare all the time. I compare all the time. Sometimes I am right and it feels good. Other times I'm wrong and it doesn't feel good. Sometimes I'm better. Sometimes I'm worse. I compare status. I compare lifestyles. I compare governments. I compare money. I make comparisons on my bank account. On my parenting skills, I make comparisons. I'm not good enough. I'm not good enough. I am not good enough. I could do better. I could be better. I could do better. I could be better. Comparison, comparison, comparison. I could do better. I could be better. Just do it. Just do it. Be better. I don't know. I'm stuck now. I'm stuck in comparison. I'm stuck in comparison. Oh, will this ever go away? Will this ever go away? 
it doesn't feel good. It doesn't feel good. It's a low, sad energy. It's lethargic. What's the point? What's the point? I am not good enough. I'm not good enough. I'm not good enough. I compare. I compare myself to others. I judge myself against other people. I compare. I compare. I love and accept myself. I love and accept myself. Breathe and see what number flows to you. Okay. Um, yeah, I got one. Towards the end, I could hear the word the two, two, and then that little last, I love and accept myself. I love and accept myself. In fact, we can do it here on the heart chakra. I love and accept myself. I love and accept myself. All I can hear is one, one, one. I love and accept myself. Can we get a zero? I love and accept myself. I love and accept myself. I love and accept myself. If we tap here throughout the day, I love and accept myself. Love and accept myself just the way I am. I love and accept myself just the way I am. I love and accept myself just the way I am. Zero, 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 zero. Love and accept myself just the way I am. If you do this, whenever you get the chance, when if you think, I love and accept myself. Love and accept myself just the way I am. Um, it'll come down to zero like it has just done for me. Okay, guys, so, um, yeah, super duper happy with that, and um, that's it for today, we'll see what the next session brings us, love you guys, bye!